Are you ready? Going through. Coming down, right through. Yeah. Basic underlying principles of a roller coaster start with one of the more fundamental laws of all of physics, and that is the law of conservation of energy. When we start to talk about the law of conservation of energy, what we're really dealing with is, is, is a situation that we know that in a closed system, the energy is conserved. And what that means is that energy is transformed from one type to another, but the total amount of energy stays the same. Energy is defined as the ability to do work, and so what that begs is then a definition of work. And work is the idea of moving something by using a force on it through a distance. At the bottom of a roller coaster, the object has no potential energy. The train has no potential energy. So what we have to do is we have to supply energy to the system to bring it up and give it energy. So the, the machine is adding energy, supplying a force. That force is moving the object through a distance, and that's what we call work. On a roller coaster, what we deal with are two basic types of energy called potential energy and kinetic energy. Potential energy is a type of energy of position. And on a roller coaster, we're talking about gravitational potential energy because we're dealing with the height that a roller coaster might attain. With kinetic energy, what we're dealing with is the energy of velocity or speed. And so as an object gains speed, it gains kinet what we call kinetic energy. And then as we get to the bottom of the first hill, we're projected upward again by the track into another hill. At that point, we're losing speed and gaining height. And so throughout this entire process, it's one series of conversions between potential energy and kinetic energy after we do the initial work to get the system to a spot of energy that we like. At 1,000 frames per second, we can see the laws of physics at work. Newton's first law of motion says that objects, in this case passengers in roller coaster seats, move in a straight line at constant velocity unless acted upon by an outside, unbalanced force. When the coaster nears the bottom of a hill or goes around a corner, the seats provide that unbalanced force, pushing against each passenger's body. The passengers will all feel momentarily heavier these are positive Gs. You're saying normally you'd be pulled down with gravity if you were falling off this thing. In this case, you're actually pulled twice gravity, so one extra G. One extra G. I weigh a slim 150 pounds. So do I. <laughs> and uh, at the bottom, I would, I would weigh 300 pounds. Gotcha. And it's spread out over time, too, so you feel it for a while. You could be seriously injured with a 3G if it's over milliseconds you know, the impact of a car wreck, you know. But uh, with it spread out over the time that this is spread out over, you just get that feeling of weightlessness and floating. Right. So what makes me feel sick? That? To me, it's the negative Gs. Right. The feeling of weightlessness in your stomach um, when you go over the top of a hill or when you're dropped off of something. The opposite of positive Gs are negative Gs. When you approach the top of a hill and your seatbelt keeps you from flying out into the sky, there is less pressure between your bottom and the seat. The brain, located approximately here, interprets this as less weight, or in some cases, weightlessness, also known as negative Gs. When people get sick, it's this reaction to things that our body's never had a chance to evolve to deal with. I'm proud of myself for uh, not vomiting.
Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Donnie Mills, General Manager for Busch Gardens Europe. Now, I'm not at the podium, but I'm coming to you live from Griffin Station. Joining me today are American coaster enthusiasts, ACE members from around the country. Let's hear it, ACERs! Yeah. All right, all right. All right, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for joining us today as we unveil the world's tallest and only floorless dive coaster. Griffin is the coaster that's going to be on every thrill seeker's must ride list. No doubt about it. And if you can't wait, a special announcement. Grand opening is set for May 25th. We're sticking with those ceremonies, but we have a sneak peek week. You can start riding this ride this Friday, May 18th through the 24th. How about that, Acers? Yeah. Open it early. All right, Acers, let's don our goggles. Are you ready to get your griff on? Yeah. Station Master, let's roll. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, riding, riding with me today is Larry Giles. Larry is the Vice President of Design and Engineering, and Larry oversaw the construction of this ride. Now, one of the neat things about this ride is the lift. On regular coasters, it's just a way to get you from a high, from a low point to a high point. But Larry, this is special. Tell us about it. Well, we're running about 10 feet per second, Donnie, straight on our backs, as you can probably see, straight up into the sky. Uh, it's a, a 45 degree lift, it's twice as fast as any other lift we've got, and it gets us to our 205 foot elevation where the fun starts to begin. Yeah, hey, this, would, this would be relaxing, except I know what's coming next. <laughs> That's the ghost fleet out there. I think that's something like seven to nine miles away. Unbelievable. What a view. This is spectacular. All right, Acers, you ready to dive? Yeah! All right. Let's do it. I'm not sure I'm ready, but I don't think I have a whole lot of hey, choice. Hey, take a look at this track. So, Does it look straight down? You know, those people oh, are small my. down there. All right, here we come. Oh! 205 feet straight down. Oh, my God. wings of an airplane. All right. We're coming up to the block break. We're going to have our second dive. Now, this second dive is actually higher than the first drop on the Loch Ness Monster. Here we go again, our second dive. This will take us soaring into the next Dimbleman. This is one smooth ride. Unbelievable. I'm upside down. All right. We're heading towards the water break. 45-foot rooster tails. Running back to the station. Oh, what a ride. Even with Larry, this is a heck of a ride. <laughs> All right. Oh, I just got hit with water. All right. How about that? Oh, is that right. awesome or what? All right. Now I'd like to introduce Mark Cole. Mark is the president of American Coaster Enthusiasts.